Hey guys, I'm here. Let's get technical. Recently, I had the amazing honor of watching Andy Weir talk and participate in a Q&A. I got to ask him this. So, in your book, uh, especially in uh, Mark Watney's log, uh, there is a lot of technical stuff, like technical numbers and technical biology and technical chemistry. And like you said uh, in your talk, and like you said at your talk at Google, uh, that's all mostly accurate. Um, so my question to you is, what do you think all the technical stuff adds to the story and adds to the characters? What does all the technical stuff add to the story and the characters? Well, it adds uh, plausibility. So basically, when you're reading the story, I mean, any story requires suspension of disbelief. You need to sit there and kind of like, build with yourself a little bit, but believing this is really happening. You put yourself in a context of going like, I'm gonna pretend this is going on. It's the writer's job to make that as easy as possible for you. So, all the science being accurate, you reach a point, and, and this is a cool thing, I, I never expected it to have any mainstream appeal, I thought it would just be for science stories, but what I've learned from people who, who like the book, who aren't, who aren't scientifically minded at all, they don't care about science, they're not interested in it, they're, they're like, it's cool, but I don't really care about the numbers, you know. What happened when they tell me is they say like, oh, you know, I would read it, and then when you get to one of those deep, kind of technical explanations of all the numbers, they just skim that. <laughs> And what's cool is that is awesome. I mean, I wish I could follow that because it means that the reader trusted me so implicitly. Seriously, the reader's like, this is all going to be correct. <laughs> was really awesome to meet and hear speak. If you're interested in his story and what he has to say, I recommend you watch his talk at Google, which you can uh, click here to check out. I really recommend you do. It's awesome. And he even signed this drawing that I made. It says, to Alex Nickel, I love technicality. And he loves technicality. This is awesome. Huge thanks to the Village House of Books bookstore for hosting the event. If you're ever in the area, definitely check out Village House of Books. It's this awesome little bookstore. Their website is villagehouseofbooks.com. Check it out. The question I asked was inspired by CGB Grey and Brady Heron's podcast, Hello Internet. Brady and Grey discussed The Martian on episode 33, Mission to Mars. You can click here to listen to the podcast. Anywho, I hope you liked that, and if you're new here, subscribe, because I think you're going to like the stuff I make. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching DFTBA, and here is the technicality of My Little Pony telling you to get ready, get out, and be awesome. Ooh, wow, I bumped the tripod. Ooh, that's intense. Tense. Hey guys, I'm here. Let's get technical. Want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the Higgs boson walks into a church, and the priest is all like, we don't allow Higgs bosons in here, and the Higgs boson says, well, without me, you can't have mass. <laughs> what? Uh, you, no. you don't get it?